Okay, guys, this is the uh, Milk Magic, which is, it's come a long way. It used to be, it's had a lot of different names over the years, but uh, we finally got there. It's not the Milky Dream, guys. That's a very different fly. This is the original, this is the original Milkfish fly tied along the same lines and they evol it's evolved from a lefty's H2O. Um, and this is the fly that I fish with all the time and this is what we f I like to fish with for, for milks. Uh, what's important about this fly is it's not just, it's a, it's a whole lot of things, it's a, it's a whole melange of different stuff that makes this fly what it is. It's a, basically the calf tail supports the fly, okay, but then it's got lots of other sort of stuff in it. I tie often with marabou, but most often with, nowadays I tie with um, Arctic Fox to try and get like real sort of soft algae-like action on the fly. And then just behind the little pink shrimp egg case collar, which is also sort of a strike stimulator for milks, is a bit of plankton sheen because you get plankton clusters drifting along. Milks are very, got huge eyes and they feed a lot on plankton. So we use a little bit of UV dub um, to create that sort of planktony sheen on the fly. That's the sort of that's the idea basically. So that gets tied in behind the collar, the little horror style egg case, and then right on the front is the little copepod. And there's a little blue copepod that drives milkfish completely crazy. It's like the palelo worm for tarpon. And so this fly's got not only the sort of original sort of algae-like look about it. It's got a little bit of flash, but it's got a plankton cluster, it's got a shrimp egg sac, and it's got the little copepod. And all those things combined make it a smorgasbord for milks. So uh, yeah, that's why I call it the milk magic. So anyway, it's a highly effective fly for milkfish fishing. I'm gonna crank one out quickly. I've got a couple of finished ones. I'm just gonna show you guys quickly more or less how to do it. Okay, here we go. Um, We've got a bit of pre-prepared calf tail, so we'll just quickly tie in the white over chartreuse, very much like the same thing as a pillow talk wing. Um, just get that guy settled down. There we go. Slightly sort of like a slightly bend back style. It's a it's a classic. The fly actually rides um, hook point down, uh, hook point up. So it's actually more like a little bend back. Um, so we've got the basic wing in, okay. And then what I do is um, one of my ex-colleagues and one of my good mates and yeah, old James Christmas, he's um, very passionate about materials and he goes out and he makes, he gets hold of all kinds of interesting stuff and he dyes sheep's wool and it's fantastic stuff because it, it has a lot of natural buoyancy in it. It's got lanolin, it floats, it's quite buoyant. It's also translucent and he very graciously gave me some recently um, and I'm using that now in two different colors in fact sorry I just I did a little bit of a made a bit of an error I like to use the lighter lighter one first so that sort of bulks up the wing a little bit and then into that we're going to stick a um, piece of crystal flash again also fairly simple I, I like to I like to put four strands of crystal flash in just to give it a little bit of translucence I believe milks are quite magpie like I like I think they've got huge eyes they live in an incredible incredibly diverse very visual world you know feeding individually on plankton some of the plankton are sort of bioluminous and they've got all kinds of amazing sort of things happening so I like to put a little bit of flash into the fly just to keep them interested. So we put this sort of light over dark over light into the wing just to give it a bit of bulk. Okay, let's take that off. Let's trim this a little bit. Okay. Um, We're getting there. Okay, that's looking good. Um, next step is the bit of Arctic Fox. Let's grab that quickly. Uh, it's quite important to use 
colors that are true to the spirulina algae, which is this actually what this is representing. And this is 50% of a milkfish's diet is is vegetation of various sorts, turtle grass, eelgrass, spirulina. Um, but they, what makes St. Francois such an incredible milkfish fishery is that there's such a huge amount of biomass of spirulina on the flats and the milks feed predominantly on that on the high tide. <clears throat> Normally at low tide when they can't feed on spirulina they're forced off the flats and they're forced into deeper water and that's when they go off to plankton if the plankton are available and that's when that's when we target them really because they're incredibly difficult to catch on algae flies uh, on white sand but I, there's a concept fly that I'm going to show you a bit later which is which is also I'm working on which is a good good way around that okay so what we've done is we've created a really nice wing put a little bit of super glue on that just to just sort of just to sort of tie that whole thing down keep it solid um, and we're going to add a little bit of that ice dubbing here it is make a very soft little quick dubbing rope nothing too fancy let me just give that a couple of turns I'll tease it tease it out just now okay it doesn't have to be too too fancy the super glue will also help to hold that down and then a little bit of fluorescent pink shrimp chenille to create that little shrimp egg sac collar okay I'm going to just give that a little tie that down okay we good and what we'll do is we'll put that little copepod on the nose and then we've got our milk magic fly um, I haven't put very much you can actually bulk it up sometimes you could put quite a lot of plankton UV like that UV dub in to create like a plankton cluster and tease it out properly um, but I'm happy with it the way it is right like that okay then we'll just stick a bit of this UV blue crystal on the nose which and it's actually an amazing color because it's uh, it's a very specific thing actually um it's crystal flashed UV blue which is quite hard to get hold of um, you don't always find it so you have to ask for it specifically but it makes that copepod which is the for as far as I'm concerned a very vital um, cue on the fly and it's a it also acts as a strike stimulator like the little red nose for the pillow talk okay we'll just wrap that finished and then we the flies done and that little blue copepod is absolutely it's like it, honestly it, when when milks are feeding on this thing on the f on the in the f on the flats in the surf or offshore in weed lines they become really stupid and they they just sort of lollygag on the surface and they just eat these things like crazy and um, yeah it's just I'm a really amazing addition to the fly I think I'm very very keen to do it all right we'll just quickly finish that off and put the okay that's great and then what I'll do is always just put a little bit of varnish on the nose just to especially with a crystal flash nose you want it to look shiny just hold the super glue down for a second or two all right so the nose is done guys it's um we've got our milk magic um we're just putting a little bit of varnish on there just to finish it off make it look sh shiny and lifelike I just put a little bit more on okay we're done that's that's the milk magic there she is completed see it's a fairly quick it's a fairly quick fly to tie it I do like that about f the flies and to keep it fairly simple if you can so you can crank them out and you've always got a couple of good flies in your box